Gas Content Without Coring is a new service to measure the gas content of all strata being drilled using open hole methods. For it to operate, the hole must be drilled overbalanced, meaning that the fluid pressure in the bore hole exceeds the formation pressure. This is generally the case in coal seam gas and many other petroleum drilling operations. Under overbalanced conditions, no fluid enters the hole from the formation being drilled. The material that comes out of the hole during drilling, therefore, comprises only the drilling fluid that is pumped into the well and the material that is cut by the drill bit. This includes any fluids and gas that is contained within the rock being cut. To measure the gas content, it's necessary to ensure that air does not enter the drilling mud and that no gas is lost. To avoid air entry, de-aired drilling fluid is pumped down the drill string. Some muds may require de-airing. The de-airing of the mud is necessary if the mud is sufficiently viscous that it does not readily release bubbles introduced into it while passing through the shaker. To achieve de-airing, mud from the shaker under tank is pumped to a cyclonic separator using a centrifugal pump. De-aired mud is delivered to the mud tank and then the mud pump pumps it through the rotary swivel and an anti-dribble valve into the drill string. Air entry into the string is prevented by fitting a pressure relief valve behind the bit and an anti-dribble valve at the top of the swivel. The anti-dribble valve is designed to stop the head pipe and swivel from losing mud when a pipe is changed. The pressure relief valve is to hold a column of mud in the drill string so the level does not drop when adding a drill pipe if fluid is being leaked into the formation. At the top of the BOP stack, a rotary seal is fitted so that all the fluid and cuttings are diverted to a cyclonic separator with a wet pour boy base. In the cyclone, mud and cuttings swirl down inside of the separator and then into the wet base and overflow to a shaker. The gas rises inside the cyclone and its volume is measured by positive displacement flow meters. The gas is further analysed for its composition before it's discharged to the atmosphere fire event. The shaker then separates the coarser cuttings from the mud. The cuttings can be sampled for further desorption or pass on to waste. The mud can be reused. Information is captured by a data acquisition system that monitors the exact depth at which a hole is being drilled by using drill pipe counts and an automatic head position sensor installed on the drill mast. The mud flow rate from the mud pump. Gas flow rate from the gas flow meter gas composition from the gas analyzer and the gas released from the desorption of cuttings using our sampling process. Gas measurements and chip samples are related to the depth at which they have been generated. This is achieved principally by knowing the exact drill head position and the mud pump rate. Final processing is accomplished using software that calculates which samples have been taken using information from the data acquisition system. This takes into account the settlement rate of cuttings. For porous conventional reservoir rock, the gas is released directly from pore space as it rises up the annulus and can be directly measured. For a rock that exhibits diffusive desorption, the gas comes from cuttings rising up the annulus and in the cyclone. In addition, a small proportion is lost during transit across the shaker. This is followed by measured desorption of sampled cuttings with time, followed by crushing of a subsample of these to release residual gas. The following gas quantities are referred to. Q1A is the gas volume measured from the separator as the hole is drilled. Q1B, the estimated lost gas volume over the shaker during the transit time. It is only a small fraction, about 5% as compared to measured values. Q2, the cumulative gas released by the cuttings sampled over an extended period. Q3, the residual gas recovered from crushing subsamples of the chip sample. QM, total gas, is the sum of the Q1A, Q1B, Q2 and the Q3. The results are expressed in terms of cubic metres per tonne for each sample. This incorporates the use of geophysical logs derived from subsequent caliper and density and other geophysical logging to confirm hole diameter and formation locations. A caliper log is a well logging tool that provides a continuous measurement of the size and shape of a borehole along its depth. 
Density logging is particularly useful in the identification of carbonaceous zones such as coal seams. While drilling the strata, gas is released from the seams and is clearly measured and logged by gas meters. This example shows what happens as we drill through a particular seam. The blue section shows the gas released per metre of drilling. The dotted black line displays the fraction of carbonaceous material in the strata. The overall location of the coal, as defined by a density of less than 1700 kilograms per metre cubed, taken from the density log, is shown in grey. The system can be installed easily on virtually any open hole rig that has a conventional mud handling system comprising mud tanks and a shaker. It is a quantitative system that works by direct measurement. It has a place in lower permeability conventional as well as unconventional reservoirs. The typical applications for this are initial exploration drilling where the client wishes to avoid coring, production hole drilling where the client wishes to firm up knowledge of gas contents during the drilling of production holes, where free gas is expected, such as in porous sandstones, where free gas would be lost on coring, and where the entire gas content of the stratigraphic sequence needs to be measured. 